As you learn more and more about the Adobe programs, you're gonna get used to using shortcut keys. And one of the main shortcut keys you're gonna come back to time and time again is the shortcut for the move tool or the selection tool. And that shortcut key is V. Now there's other shortcut keys, T for type tool you'll use a lot among others. But specifically when you are typing something into your document, whether it's a header or some body copy, and whether you're in Photoshop, InDesign, or Illustrator, when you've got type selected, you can't use your shortcut keys. And I can't tell you the amount of times that I have pressed V or T or any number of keys and accidentally put typos into my document and sometimes not even caught them or realized they were there. Thank God for copywriters, right? I'm gonna show you what I've done to combat that. I virtually never ever make this mistake anymore. And we'll show you in each of the three programs. So I've got a couple random um, documents open here. And if I select with the T shortcut key, the type tool, and I'm typing in some new text or I'm just working with my text, Right now, if I hit the V key, it's gonna type in V or any of my other letters to try to use my shortcut keys. What I do instead is press the escape key. The escape key backs you out of the text and does what is, by Photoshop standards, is called committing your text. So it commits what you've just typed and backs you out of the text box by using that escape key. From there, you can use any shortcut key you want. In Photoshop specifically, it's going to ask you the very first time you do this if how like how you want to use the escape key. And you're gonna wanna use it to commit your text every time. And to do this, you either press okay or commit text on that pop-up or you go up to your preferences and you can go find type. And inside of type, there's a little preference that says use escape key to commit text. I want this check marked always and forever. And one of the things that um, you know might be tough at first is what I've always done is just like used my mouse if I have something highlighted and then I'll go back up and click on the move tool or whatever tool I wanna use next. What I did to try to get myself used to this new shortcut key is every time I did that, I would go back into the text and intentionally use the escape key to back out. And over like a month or two, it became just like a natural habit for me to use the escape key when I'm within text in any of my documents if I wanna back out and start doing other things in my project. So that's my recommendation for you guys. In, anytime that you're clicking outside on another tool, just go back into the text. I know it takes just a couple seconds extra, but it's super helpful to just go back in, realize what you did, and just press the escape key. Press the escape key. Try to start remembering and catching yourself and pressing the escape key to back out of the text and commit it. Now in Photoshop, it's the weirdest one. It keeps you on the type tool when you press the escape key and back out. So then you can press whatever you know shortcut key you wanna use. And then also the option is in the preferences. If we go over to something like Illustrator and we're typing in and editing our text here, if we press the escape key here, it'll actually take you to the selection tool, which I find pretty nice and handy. Keeps me from having to use um, an extra little shortcut key press. Um, all I have to do is press that escape key, it takes me right to the selection tool, and the exact same thing happens over in InDesign. You press the escape key, it commits the text, whatever changes you made, and then it takes you to the move tool or the selection tool of that program. InDesign and Illustrator, I found no extra options for this. Photoshop has that extra option and has the pop-up that asks you how you wanna utilize the escape key. That's it for this tutorial. I hope that helped you, especially if you are frustrated with accidentally typing in some of those shortcut keys into your text. Escape key, escape key, escape key. Bonus points if you comment down below how many times I said escape key in this video. Uh, appreciate you guys. I'm Spencer from Pixel and Bracket, and I'll see you in the next one.